Want to get this briefing by email? Here's the sign up. Good morning. Here's what you need to know. After passing their tax code rewrite last week, Republicans in Congress are focusing on programs for the poor that they say are too easily exploited. The efforts follow what Senator Mitch McConnell, the Republican leader, called a year of extraordinary accomplishment, including the opening of oil drilling in the Arctic, the ending of the Affordable Care Act's individual mandate and numerous judicial appointments. It has been more chaotic and more politicized than I would like, said Senator Susan Collins, Republican of Maine, but we do have more accomplishments than I think we're generally given credit for. For their part, Democrats plan to contest virtually every Republican-held House seat in 2018, an election year that is shaping up to be a referendum on President Trump. In April, the U.S. dropped the largest bomb in its arsenal on an Islamic State cave complex in Afghanistan as part of a campaign to destroy the militant group's local affiliate by year's end. But as 2017 comes to a close, the militants are far from being vanquished, waging attacks that have displaced thousands. Our correspondent visited a district in eastern Afghanistan that demonstrates the increasing complexity of the conflict and the daunting task of defeating the Islamic State. Prime Minister Saad Hariri of Lebanon was summoned last month to the Saudi capital, Riyadh, where he was handed a resignation speech and forced to read it on TV. He had become a pawn in a push by the Saudi Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, to reign in Iran's regional ambitions. This is the story of Mr. Hariri's month-long trip, as revealed in behind-the-scenes accounts from a dozen officials and associates of Mr. Hariri. A month after one Border Patrol agent was killed and another, who is said to have no memory of the events, was severely injured, no one seems to know what happened. It was initially thought to be an attack, perhaps by migrants or drug smugglers. But the FBI says it's possible the men were hurt accidentally. If this was an assault, believe me, as sheriff, I'd be the first one out there emphasizing safety in our community and with our deputies, Sheriff Oscar Carrillo said. But from what I know and see, that was not the case here. With sexual harassment dominating the global conversation, business schools are taking case studies from the news. As you probably know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will marry next year. Tour groups, ceramics makers and others are trying to capitalize. Cash might be king, but many businesses in New York City don't care. They're going cashless. Our dealbook columnist, Andrew Ross Sorkin, picks his favorite business books of the year. U.S. markets were closed for Christmas. Here's a snapshot of global markets. Tips, both new and old, for a more fulfilling life. Take steps to help your dog this winter. In 2018, be happier, safer, healthier, and smarter. Observe Kwanzaa, the annual celebration of African American heritage that begins today, with these recipes.